Now I will request Dr. Rabia, Director, Center for Security, Strategy and Policy Research, University of Lahore, to give her talk. The topic of her talk is Community of Shared Future Way Forward. Dr. Rabia. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Asalaamu Alaikum everybody. Um, I'd like to thank the Vice Chancellor, Punjab University, um, all the organizers of this seminar, our colleagues from China, um, for this uh, invitation to be here and be part of this uh, August gathering. I will be very brief. You have heard uh, a lot of eloquent speakers before me uh, speaking about um, you know, the President Xi's vision, community with shared future. And the topic of my presentation today is the way forward. Um, Chinese President uh, Xi's um, concept of a community for shared future for mankind is no doubt a visionary perspective that has captured worldwide attention in recent years. Since its introduction in 2013, uh, this concept has been reiterated by the Chinese president on numerous occasions, emphasizing its significance in contemporary global affairs. At this core, as you've heard, this vision aims to establish a peaceful and stable global order by promoting mutual cooperation among nations to address shared challenges and promote inclusive development. President Xi launched various initiatives to which uh, uh, Professor uh, Im Khalid has alluded to, uh, including Global Security Initiative, Global Development Initiative, Global Civilization Initiative, which have yielded a measure of success in addressing various global problems. These initiatives have strengthened China's role as a responsible global partner dedicated to advancing a shared vision of fairness, cooperation, and global sustainability. As my fellow panelists have alluded to in their speeches, the concept of building a community with a shared future for mankind reflects President Xi's belief that the world that we live in is interconnected global community in which nation states share common interests and responsibilities, necessitating joint action to address challenges. Now, this perspective underscores the need for strengthening multilateralism and construct a more inclusive, balanced, and beneficial international order, which is built on mutual trust, respect, and cooperation. The concept of building a community with a shared future for mankind has implications for global governance, highlighting the importance of promoting transparency, accountability, and the rule of law in world affairs. President Xi's vision seeks to advance human uh, flourishing not only in China, but also across, across the globe by fostering partnerships and cooperation. President Xi's vision for a community for shared future of mankind represents a positive contribution to contemporary global discourse, emphasizing the need for shared responsibility and cooperation in advancing a peaceful and stable world order. And these initiatives that I've mentioned and my fellow panelists have alluded to, um, launched under his vision, demonstrate China's commitment to a, such a vision, which underscoring uh, the significance of a multilateral, inclusive, and equitable global governance system. So then what is the way forward? And all of you and us sitting here are consumers of knowledge and have our pulse on international affairs. This proposal for a community for shared future of mankind emphasizes vital importance for global cooperation, mutual understanding, collective responsibility in tackling pressing challenges of our world. And to actualize this vision, I believe that there are several key steps that can be taken in order to foster this thought forward. First is strengthening multilateralism. I believe that it is imperative to uphold and revitalize the multilateral system. This entails providing unwavering support to international organizations, such as the United Nations and the World Trade Organization, and promoting the rule of law on global scale. And by working together, countries can effectively address shared challenges, such as climate change, the COVID pandemic that we all dealt with, and various other conflicts. Secondly, promoting inclusivity and equity. So our global community thrives when it embraces diverse perspectives, cultures, and needs. And to achieve this, I believe um, fostering dialogue and understanding among nations, regions, and civilization is critical. Addressing global inequalities and ensuring equitable development are key principles that we should uphold. 
but also with the multilateralism and this inclusivity principles, you have seen that the world is desegregated. Um, we are moving towards the D-list that Professor Lee talked about. So the time is upon us now to bring everybody together on a platform. The third is strengthening uh, cooperation on global issues. Uh, it is imperative that we intensify global collaborative efforts to tackle urgent global challenges such as climate change, poverty, terrorism, public health, and this list is not you know, exhaustive. Initiatives promoting basic services play a significant role in enhancing the well-being of humanity worldwide. Number four is resolving conflict and building peace. I believe that diplomacy and negotiation, they must always be preferred methods for resolving disputes. By promoting peaceful settlements of conflicts, upholding international law, and discouraging the use of force, we create a foundation for maintaining global stability and harmony. But this would only happen if the world comes together or the world powers come together and they take it, take it and look at it as shared responsibility. Therefore, I believe that it is incumbent upon all nations to recognize their shared responsibilities in advancing global well-being. Sixth, I believe that cultural exchange and people-to-people -people ties are extremely important and as a way forward of enhancing and recognizing and realizing this vision. Strengthening cultural exchanges, educational programs, something to which a Professor M. Khalid also alluded to, and fostering connections among individuals can profoundly uh, promote mutual understanding and bridge the cultural gaps that exist today. These efforts contribute to the harmonious coexistence of diverse societies. We are a diverse society, Chinese are a diverse society, Americans, Europeans, Africans, all over the world, if we come together and look at our shared responsibilities towards the globe, I'm sure that this vision will see the light of the day. Number seven uh, is to enhance technological co collaboration. In our increasingly interconnected world, technological advancements play a vital role. And I believe that collaborating on innovation, on research, on technological solutions can drive sustainable development and address global challenges effectively. Number eight is, I believe, transparency and accountability are important. By embracing openness, transparency, and accountability, should, they should be the shared commitment by all nations. Upholding responsible governance, combating corruption, and ensuring the fulfillment of commitments are integral aspects of this pledge. At number ninth, I believe balancing national interests and global common good should be something that we all need to look at, striking a balance between pursuing national interests while working towards the greater global good is absolutely indispensable. So cooperation should be rooted in mutual benefits and pursuit of win-win outcomes, something to which Professor Lee alluded to in his earlier presentation. And lastly, it is a long-term vision. There are no short-term solutions to it. Attaining the vision of a harmonious future, it requires a long-term perspective and unwavering dedication. Policymakers, leaders, and citizens alike must commit to fostering a global environment of cooperation and peaceful coexistence to achieve this huge paramount objective. Lastly, in essence, forging ahead necessities, a collective effort from all nations that embraces the principles of cooperation, inclusivity, and shared responsibility is the need of the hour and is the way forward. By working together, we can effectively address the challenges of our time and pave the way for a more peaceful, stable, and prosperous world for not only the nations involved who are projecting this vision, but also globally and for future generations to come. I thank you all.